Uh, Craig Gross is one of the original tech nomads and has spent his career traveling to and living in every major technology market in the world. In 2016, Greg teamed up with Dr. Mark Seger to create Soul Machines to focus on humanizing artificial intelligence and exploring the future of human-machine cooperation. Greg will be talking about creating digital humans. Let's welcome him to the stage. Well, it's... Um Great to be here this afternoon. Thank you for having me. Um, I'm a Kiwi, which means I'm from New Zealand. I think I'm the only one here today, so, and I am a real person. Um, we live in an era where, as people, we're going to spend more and more of our time interacting and talking to machines. So, of course, as people, we've imagined what those machines might look like. They're evil robots. They're, going, they're coming to get us. They're coming to steal our jobs, maybe kill us. Elon Musk is building robots so we can go live on Mars to escape the robots. Or just maybe, maybe the world which we will have in the future will be a world where these machines will be much more friendly and much more like us. So, Human cooperation, creativity are some of the most um, powerful forces in history. Everything here, everything around the world has been created by us, us working together in communities and societies and organizations and in teams. But as we head forward into the future, so much of our future, we believe, is going to be based on the way in which we cooperate and use these machines in our day-to-day -day lives. So you've just seen a video of some of the work that we do. Not a single person in that video reel was real. They are all digital humans. They are all brought to life by our underlying technology. Now, we, um, Muhammad talked about the artificial intelligence, the narrow IA that we, AI that we have today. What we're working on is the artificial general intelligence, the way in which we will inject more human intelligence uh, into this artificial intelligence. And the way we've done that as a company is um, our neuroscientists, our psychologists have actually modeled and built a digital brain. So those digital people you saw in that brief video presentation are actually being brought to life uh, by a digital brain. They're being autonomously animated in exactly the same way you and I are autonomously animated. What animates me is the way my brain thinks, the words it chooses, um, the emotions that I, I even use when I'm talking to you here today. So beyond those amazingly hyper-realistic digital faces is actually a brain which is synthesizing behavior in real time. So we like to think of our digital people as our digital heroes, doing work that we're not good at, stuff we don't want to do, um, uh, tasks that require an enormous amount of scale um, so that we can't employ enough, we can't afford to employ enough people to do these. Our digital humans are created from digital DNA and they're brought to life by what we call our human operating system. The, digital person on that screen is Fatima. Fatima is a digital employee of ABC Bank in Bahrain. So one of the things that we like to be able to do is predict the future. Um, we're entering this world of the fourth industrial revolution. And Hal Varian, the chief economist of Google, says we can predict the future based on what rich people have today. So I can take, let's say, any industry. So let's take banking and finance. So in the banking industry, if you're a wealthy business person, uh, you get a private banker. Now that private banker gives you 
personal information, personalized service, and specialized knowledge. Imagine a world in the future where, let's say in three to five years, every customer of a bank can have a personal banker. Imagine a world in 10 years' time where every person on the planet has a personal financial companion that helps them make decisions about how they spend and save their money on a day-to-day -day basis. That's how we see the future of Varian's rule applying to this world of artificial intelligence. So one of the really, really important things we can do by putting a face on artificial intelligence, by being able to synthesize human behavior in real time, is this concept of democratizing personal experience. Um, and it's great for many of the big brand corporate clients we have today, being able to create um, brand, more personal brand connections between them and their clients. But imagine what we can do in the worlds of education and healthcare. We don't train enough teachers in our world today. We don't train enough doctors uh, in our world today. If you don't live in a major city of a wealthy country, you don't get great healthcare. Our kids don't get great education. So imagine the potential to use digital teachers, digital healthcare professionals in communities where we just don't have enough real people to do those roles. So this world which we are part of is already um, in existence today. The digital world and the, and the real world is, is very mashed up already. So Lil Michaela on the um, this side of the screen, the, the cool-looking young lady with the sunglasses, she's not real. She's, she was created by an advertising agency. She exists on Instagram. She has two million followers, and she gets paid money uh, to advertise luxury brands like Prada. In the middle, we have Tupac, an American artist who um, was killed a number of years ago. He's been touring in a holographic concert. Um, in the United States this uh, last summer, along with Roy Orbison. So you have your choice, Tupac, Roy Orbison. Um, and then, you know, of course, we have Westworld. Many of you will have watched the television series, which imagines a world where um, we, get, we, we as people pay money to go to an adventure park and interact with humanoid robots, um, which in the TV series are actually ironically played by real people, but these humanoid robots, of course, are evil and are once again plotting to kill us again. So, um, you know, we are already starting to see this world start to emerge. So, um, as we move forward into the future, we, we see three ages of this type of technology. Already we are creating digital teammates for brands like Mercedes-Benz. Um, Autodesk, a, a software company in San Francisco, um, and, and the Procter & Gamble brand SK2. So you know, we're deploying our digital people as workers, as customer service people, as sales people, as training people in organizations today. Within the next two to three years, um, we will create digital entertainers. Some of them will be based on real-life entertainers. Um, we have a, a big project launching next month where we've created a digital twin of one of the world's most famous musicians. Why? Because that particular musician wants to be able to have their fans interact on a one-on-one -on -one basis with his digital twin. And moving forward further, five to 10 years from now, um, each and every one of us will be able to create a digital version of ourselves. Those digital people we create for ourselves, we'll be able to train by interacting with them, and then we'll be able to send out to do stuff for us, either in the real world or, or maybe in uh, a digital world that we also get to create in the future. I think that's a video. If you could play that for me, please. Nice to meet you. I'm totally obsessed with skincare, which is why I'm the first digital skincare advisor for SK2. What's your name? 
アドバイスできるよう頑張りますお肌の悩みで多いのはこちらなんですけど一番のお悩みってどれですかジェノプティクスオーラエッセンスっていう美白美容液がおすすめなんですピテラって知ってますかいや知らないですそれはユミ。ユミは、uh, digital アンバサダーの SK2 ランジ。実際、彼女は日本語を話すことができます。彼女は日本語を話すことができます。彼女は日本語を話すことができます。彼女は日本語を話すことができます。彼女は日本語を話すことができます。彼女は日本語を話すことができます。彼女は日本語を話すことができます。彼女は日本語を話すことができます。彼女は日本語を話すことができます。彼女は日本語を話すことができます。彼女は日本語を話すことができます。彼女は日本語を話すことができます。彼女は日本語を話すことができます。彼女は日本語を話すことができます。So, we're moving from a world where organizations are just creating digital content that they can push at us to a world where we can create incredibly personal connections with our, with our customers. We talk about this future of the experience economy. So, we're actually making one to one communications infinitely scalable. We're creating new machines. These machines will, will require new types of experiences. You know,、um, what rich people today have chauffeurs that drive them around in their Rolls Royces and their Bentleys. Imagine our autonomous cars of the future having a digital chauffeur that we can interact with, that we can learn to make that machine more relatable. And trustable. How do we really feel about having a car without a steering wheel, a car that we're not in control of? When will we, how will we learn to trust that machine with our life? We believe that because we as human beings build relationships and trust on a face to face basis, by providing these machines with more human like behavior, we'll be able to、um, enjoy them and trust them. A whole bunch more. We're creating a digital talent agency, so you'll be able to create your own digital heroes, different ages, men, women, different ethnicities. We have a world where we'll be able to create digital heroes and digital superheroes.、Um, we talked about Rembrandt. We've got a project at the moment to bring Vincent van Gogh back to life. So you can ask questions、uh, to Vincent about where he painted a picture and why he painted a picture. Imagine being able to buy your next Mercedes Benz from the now six time、uh, Formula One world champion of the world, Lewis Hamilton. Wouldn't that be cool? So these are all really, really important things. This is a world of the future, a world of artificial intelligence, which will pose many, many different ethical questions for us. As an organization that's at the forefront of some of this work, we are incredibly focused on social good.、Um, we're looking at, you know, we work on how we create diversity in artificial intelligence in our digital workforce, and quite clearly protecting privacy, which is a big issue for the social, me social media channels, is only going. Going to be,、um, continue to grow in the future. So, these are important things that we need as, an, as people, as communities, we need to continue to debate, we continue to need to discuss and work on. Hey Sam, it's been a while. What have you been up to? I can't say too much, just that my career is about to take off. You get all the breaks. Pardon? Humans mumble too, they programmed you well. So, what's up? Well, I've had a few upgrades since we last saw each other. Hope that's eased those virtual aches and pains you were moaning about. Yeah, feeling younger than ever. Heard about Yumi? She's hitting the big time in Japan working for SK2. I'm following her on Instagram. She's becoming a real digital influencer. You're so on trend. Well, I better go. I'm currently learning about asset management and how it impacts on the status quo. Nothing like a bit of light reading. I'm sorry. Say that again? Nothing like a bit of light reading. Oh, wow. Is there an echo in here? Yeah. Some of your requests got garbage. That's not English. Can you repeat it? Cut. 
So um, that is two of my digital teammates, Sam and Roman. If you go to our website, soulmachines.com, uh, and you enter your email address, um, it, we will send you a link and you'll be able to have your very own first conversation. You choose, Sam or Roman. I um, mean, if you don't do that, if you don't go and talk to them, each and every one of you, they're just going to end up talking amongst themselves like they did in that video. Thank you very much.